Hey guys! Now, after three months of break, I'm finally back on track and I tell you more about my readings. So if you are not a big fan of literature and reading, please just skip this video. Uh, today I want you to tell you about this book. And the author of this book has the name Terashi Hiraid. Terashi was born in Mui, it's uh, Kitakuyusu, it's an uh, island in Japan. He was born in 1950, so he would be like 68 years old today. Uh, Takashi is mostly famous as the poet and essayist. So this book is his only novel. The name of the novel is The Guest Cat. Uh, I read this book in Swedish. In Swedish it's Yest uh, As you see, it's quite a little book. It's only 140 pages, so you would read it just for one, maybe two days. Um, this book is quite special because the narrative style of the book is very slowly and very Japanese. Uh, the author pays enormous attention to small details. Uh, usually these details are just everyday things, like a description of a garden, of a dragonfly, birds or insects. Um, but the most important role in all this parallel uh, description of nature plays a tree. The name of tree is Zelkova Carpinifolia in Latin, but then it's also famous as Caucasian elm. So uh, you would feel when you read the book that the whole narration going around this tree, this tree is like a lit literature device. It's a symbol showing the mood or atmosphere of the story. But if you're not a sophisticated reader, if you're a classical European reader, you would probably find this book quite boring and um, uh, to, you would find it's too many details uh, describing the nature. But if you would dare to read this book, just keep in mind that um, it is the Asian Japanese tradition to show the deep connection between a human and the nature through art, and that it's a necessary method to connect different parts of the story through the prism of nature. But the whole book is actually about a cat. Yeah, it's about a cat. So it's a female cat named Chibi. And this novel is the promotion of human love to the cat. It's a story about love between a human and a cat. And then you also need to remember that cat plays a super important role in a Japanese culture. You know, just like this uh, popular Japanese cat figure named uh, Maneki Neko, you know, the cat standing with the support, which brings luck and blessing. So. If you are interested in uh, Japanese culture, this book actually would be a very good start for you and good luck.